Hey guys, Jason the X for SCNS Live with another toy review for you, and this is the NECA Toys Gypsy Danger figure from the Pacific Rim line. Yes, and I figured I'd go ahead and knock this video out, considering we're going to see this movie tomorrow. So, I figured I'd have it up this morning for you guys before we go out there. And this is the Gypsy Danger. Um, this figure, um, well, we're going to get into that. Got a couple of complaints about it. However, let's just move this thing to the side. Let's take a look at the packaging. It comes in the standard uh, NECA packaging. Um, sorry, I ripped it a little bit trying to get this thing open, but got a nice cityscape on the back. You got a little close up of a gypsy danger right there with his chain swords out. And of course, all this crap at the bottom. <clears throat> on the back, we get a look at the gypsy danger. I just like saying gypsy danger. I am so ready for this movie. Anyway, we get a couple uh, another offerings there. We got the knife head and the Crimson Typhoon. I actually might pick up that knife head because I got to look at me. Looks actually pretty cool. So, moving on back to this. Uh, this is the Gypsy Danger, and while this is a good-looking figure, I'll give them that. Uh, it's a little sloppy on the paint apps. Also, it looks good. It looks good standing here. If I scroll down a little bit, you can see kind of the detail on it. Now, the thing is, it looks good standing here. However, there's a couple of little things with it. It's a nice figure. I love the look of it. It looks very accurate to the uh, screen model. I love some of this detail here, like these uh, jets here. Some of the weathering, where it looks kind of like the paint is uh, off of the black. You can kind of see the silver, the mech. Uh, I love this wash they put on here, if you can see that. But, um, you know, you got some, some nice paint apps. However, there are a couple of flaws with this. Like, if we go in for the visor here, let's get a look at the head. You can see the paint looks very splotchy on there. So if you look on the side, this line over here is not as crisp as that one over there. But it kind of looks like it has some weathering, but just not on the visor. That part should be clear. I like how this looks like uh, an energy turbine. Looks really good. But it just, uh, you can see kind of like the paint down here gets a little sloppy. And it could be they were going for that. They were trying to make him look weathered like he had been in a couple of battles. And I can understand that it just doesn't come across well on the figure. The other thing that this figure suffers on is articulation. He has a lot of points of articulation. It's just that due to the way that they made the figure, it's very limited. So like, he's got this uh, heel spur here, and these feet at the ankles are actually on a ball joint. And you can get some decent poses out of this. You can go each way. Not too bad. The problem is when you get up here to his knees, you get just about a 45 degree angle. And he has um, hinge joints at his hips. He can go back and forth. But that's about as, you know, he can go all the way back, but this part tends to rub. Now, this part is kind of a little bit uh, more pliable than other parts, so you can kind of get him, you know, in some poses like that. But as far as, like, going out, that's about as far as he can go right there, just because of these parts that get in the way. He does have uh, a ball joint at the torso, which is pretty nice. Gotta say, that's pretty good. And um, he has this interesting, I, I can't even tell really what kind of joint this is. I think it's just a standard ball joint. I question if this would pop off at the shoulder, but you can get quite a bit out of it. It's just that these parts in the back tend to rub up against each other or they overlap or you can kind of move it down a little bit. I wonder why the Gypsy Danger has a 34 on it. That's uh, kind of curious there. Uh, these parts are that softer plastic that kind of bend down a little bit. Uh, the head is... It's posable. It's just really stiff. And you can't really get a lot of movement out of it, mainly because of this armor piece up here. So you can't really... It, it, can, it can go back. It just... That's about as much as you're going to get out of it. And that's, it's not too bad. Uh, the elbow is where it really suffers. Like, here's the elbow, it's fully extended, and here's the articulation. Hold on, let me do that again. There you go. Hold on. Same thing with this arm. It's even worse over here. I mean, you can get it. It feels like the plastic is stressing. If you can 
hear that, it's not uh, too great. He does have a ball joint in hand, which can do a lot. Unfortunately, I mean, it just... And his fists are, uh, well, they're fists. They're not hands. So articulation-wise, this thing suffers a little bit. And the joints are a little loose. As you can see, I'm trying to get it to stand up here. You're going to have to kind of lock them in. Uh, he doesn't come with any accessories. I know the uh, we've seen the chain sword, and we actually saw it on the packaging, but no chain sword with this guy. Overall, it is a good figure. If it's going to be sitting there looking like this. Uh, not much for accessories. Not The articulation suffers a bit. It's still a nice looking figure. Uh, you know, if you want to just put it on your shelf and never mess with it again. But, you know, not a lot going on with this thing. Uh, I know there's a bigger version that's coming out. It's pretty pricey. Uh, I think it's, uh, it runs in the $80 range. It's a lot bigger with actual light up parts. Uh, debating it. I don't know. But uh, NECA usually does very well. But this one, it just suffers from articulation is this a buy if you're just going to sit it somewhere and look at it yes it's a buy if you're looking at this to maybe move it around mess around with it a little bit i wouldn't recommend it uh we're going to get some more of the jaegers in possibly definitely the knife head and review that later but this has been the gypsy danger from neck of toys i'm jason the x for scns live i'll catch you later keep on nerding